Good morning and welcome to the Market Outlook Open. I'm Rachel Jones for Calkine TV, live from Sydney. Now, the Aussie market recovered from Thursday's sharp declines and managed a solid improvement on Friday. The ASX 200 closed up by 37 points, but was up as much as 61 points at its opening highs. U.S. futures are a touch higher, with Wall Street looking to shake off four straight sessions of losses. While local shares improved on Friday, it wasn't enough to erase earlier losses, with the ASX falling 1.5 percent softer after the past five sessions. Now today, Australian shares are poised to dip at the open. In the U.S., the S&P 500 comes off its longest daily losing streak since February. Fears over slowing economic growth and rising inflation have weighed on the market. Tech stocks did retreat in the U.S. and all three major averages closed lower on Friday with the Dow and the S&P posting a fifth straight day of losses while the Nasdaq Composite registered its third consecutive negative session. Here we saw improvements across the majority of sectors with materials the standout performer. Big names such as BHP and Rio Tinto experienced muted gains. Fortescue Metal shares lifted 2.6% and smaller miners like South32 jumped 5.9%. Illumina ended 6.3% higher. And the information technology sector and consumer discretionary sectors were also among the top improvers along with financials. Lagging behind were the healthcare and property trusts as both finished in negative territory. Biotech giant CSL was the largest individual weight on the market with a fall of 1%. In company news now, Santos and Oil Surge have been placed in a temporary trading halt prior to a joint announcement that both companies have agreed to merge, entering into a definitive agreement where Oil Surge shareholders will own around 38.5% of the merged entity and Santos shareholders will own 61.5%. The merger is still subject to all such shareholder approval, regulatory approvals and PNG court approval. But it is expected to unlock 90 to 115 million US dollars in savings each year before tax. On the resumption of trade, Santos was 0.5% higher, with oil search adding 2.2%. Simic Group company, CPB Contractors, in a joint venture with Downer, has been selected by the New South Wales government to deliver the Rowinga Freeway upgrade. The incentivised target cost style contract has a total value of $1.18 billion and will generate revenue of approximately $800 million for CPB contractors. The project will reduce congestion and simplify the complex road corridor. Sticking with travel, IFM Investors has secured access to Sydney Airport's books with a revised bid valuing the airport owner at more than $32 billion. The new bid is understood to value Sydney Airport at around $8.75 a share, which is significantly higher than its initial offer of $8.25 a share and its first revised bid of $8.45. Now, this move means a binding deal could be signed as early as next month. And IFM investors and the other investors could formally take control of the company as early as next year. Elsewhere, IRIS has extended the due diligence period for EQT fund management by 10 days, having initially granted 30 days for a proposed takeover. EQT most recently offered $15.91 per share for IRIS in August. IRIS shares fell 1.9%. And now it's time for a very short break, but stay with us for more important news before the markets open. Tune in to get the latest information. Whether it's about market movements or the currency graph. Sectoral coverage or industry news. We cover it all on our news segments. Be on top of the latest news with Calpine TV.
And welcome back. Let's get started on some currencies. The Aussie dollar remains fairly steady against the greenback and buys 74 US cents with no major economic data due locally. Major currencies were weaker against the US dollar in European and US trade. European share markets were mixed on Friday. The pan-European stock 600 index fell by 0.3% to be down 1.2% over the week. The German DAX index eased by 0.1%, but the UK FTSE index rose by 0.1%, despite data showing the economy grew just 0.1% in July. News of a phone call between Chinese leader and Xi Jinping and US President Joe Biden supported Asian-focused stocks including miners. In London trade, shares in Rio Tinto rose by 2% and shares in BHP rose by 1.1%. Global oil prices rose after that phone call. Also, production disruptions in the Gulf of Mexico continued to support prices. The Brent crude price rose by $1.47 or 2.1% to $72.92 a barrel. And the U.S. Nimex crude price lifted by $1.58 or 2.3% to $69.72 a barrel. Over the week, Brent crude rose by $0.31 or 0.4%. Nimex crude price rose 43 cents or 0.6 percent. Base metal prices rose by up to 3.4 percent on Friday with copper up the most. The gold futures price fell by $7.90 an ounce or 0.4 percent to $1,792.10 an ounce. Spot gold was trading near $1,787 an ounce on the U.S. close. Over the week, gold fell by $41.60 or 2.3 percent. Iron ore fell by $1.75 a tonne or 1.3 percent to $128.75 a tonne. Over the week, iron ore fell by $16.30 or 11.2 percent. That's all from the Morning Outlook report for today, but have a good day trading and stay tuned to Calkine TV for more live updates throughout the day on the economy, markets and also fascinating interviews with industry experts. I'm Rachel signing off for now.